Where is Maya Malete? It's been about five months since the Chula Vista woman went missing and still no leads about her whereabouts. Maya is a graduate of Radford High School here in Hawaii and a mother of three. Multiple agencies are involved in the search and her family isn't giving up hope. Back here at home, friends and high school classmates held a fundraiser to help with the search efforts. There's a big army behind the family helping out and um, you know, it, it's been over five months and it's heartbreaking and frustrating. Um, we're very impatient, but you know, we're, we're trusting that the law enforcement is really doing everything that they can to help, to help bring justice to what happened to her. Giving up is not an option for us. We'll, we'll keep working, we'll keep doing whatever we can to, to find her. That's the end goal here. My sister and brother-in-law are also not giving up hope that she'll be found alive. Jeff McAdams has an update. That's right. Yeah, Maya's sister tells us that she was asked to come in and speak to detectives this week. Some of Maya's other friends and family asked to come in too, but Maya's sister says that's not the problem. The problem is this all should have happened much sooner. Richard and Mary Chris Droulier live in Riverside, lived in Riverside. For the past five months, they basically left that life behind, at times living out of this trailer in Chula Vista, sacrificing just about everything to find Mary Chris's sister. We quit our job. Every, all the equipment that we have, we bought it out of our own pocket. Everything we do on the searches is out of our pocket. You know, it's, it's not right. You name it, they've tried it. Radios, drones, you know, underwater drones, ropes. I mean, it's just everything. I mean, metal detectors and have driven hundreds of miles to look in different locations but for all their efforts they've had no success we're not gonna stop you know we're gonna be uh, having another area search area next weekend so when they get the call from detectives this week asking Maya's friends and family to come in and help with the investigation it angers us in a way oh yeah it that's one way to put it yeah um I just feel let down. Let down. Maya Mate went missing back on January 7th from the home she shared with her husband and three small children. Cell phone turned off, car left in the driveway. In many ways, it feels like she just vanished. Police have served more than 30 search warrants, have questioned more than 60 people, but still classify this a missing persons case. Mary Chris fears the worst. That's why they wanted to team up with investigators to try and work together to find her. They say that really hasn't happened until this week. Frustrating and heartbreaking for us, the family, that they're just now doing that after five, almost six months of for her missing. They could have done that at the beginning. Now they want to go and search in these areas that we told them back in January that those are important spots that we need to go and look. In the meantime, the family will keep doing what they do. This weekend, it's searching the hillsides of Mount Miguel, the area they say Maya's cell phone last pinged before she went missing. In the meantime, we've reached out to Chula Vista Police to get their thoughts on what the family had to say Friday night. They let us know that they only give updates every two weeks in this case. The next update comes next week. From Chula Vista, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.